Hello everybody and welcome to Turbo World. Today we are going to check out some micro squirt features. I'm no pro, but I have a micro squirt on my car and I've had it on for about seven years now. And uh, she's running pretty good. So this is how I tuned for cold start and warm up starts. Please enjoy. Well, public health experts say that may be too soon at Easter target date. Doctors have warned the nation to see a massive spike in coronavirus cases if Americans return to crowded workplaces or events too quickly. Many people are trying to find ways to help out during the coronavirus pandemic. Volunteers have joined forces with local nonprofits. <laughs> The best way to describe this is with seven different books I have here. So we have this book that symbolizes the main fuel map that we set, which is our VE table. But then we have this cranking startup, this priming pulse map, this cranking pulse map, this after start enrichment map, this after start enrichment taper. And this warm up enrichment. Warm up enrichment is just what it sounds like when the vehicle, as it's warming up, it goes to this map. After start enrichment, ASC taper, is just what it sounds like. The after start enrichment, after it starts, it tapers the enrichment back down and you tune that. Just like it describes the after start, the amount of fuel that it gives it after the key is turned, after it's cranked and it's running. That's the after start enrichment. The cranking pulse percentage. That's basically how much fuel it's giving as it's cranking. So it sounded like to me that the car was starting all right when I turned the key. So the priming pulse was probably okay. The cranking pulse was probably okay. But a little bit further down the line, as we stack those books on top of each other and they average all out into one book, one of those books was off. And I think it was probably the warm up enrichment map. So I went to the warm up enrichment curve and pulled some more fuel out of it because we saw it was really rich when it was trying to die. And then. I use the auto tune feature, which is a lifesaver and a time saver. You can use this feature just starting your car up cold. As long as you can keep it running, start it up cold without touching the gas, and it'll auto tune the warm up curve of your car so that you can start it up in almost any temperature. So, what I usually do once a year is I start it up really cold and use the auto tune warm up feature, and then I start it up when it's about average with the auto tune feature and let it warm up all the way through again starting it when it's cold when the car when the engine is completely cold in about average temperature outside and I started it again when it's really hot outside and that gives it the hot average so the average of all those in between and then you have that curve so that tune analyze that auto tune feature man good stuff let me show you how I used it
Thank you for watching these videos. Please check out my older videos and these five playlists that I have. Please hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that YouTube doesn't skip you in the videos that I prepare for you. I hope you all are practicing social distancing, and I hope you're staying healthy. We can get through this, you guys. Stay focused. Find something to do around the house. Keep your mind occupied with the positivity instead of the negativity. God bless.